Hi guys and welcome back to another video over here on the channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about gold camo, Damascus camo and platinum camo again. I've spoken about it before but I want to go in more in depth. I spoke about it just like low key like just a little bit. Um, I've just unlocked the gold MP5, I'm going for the platinum SMGs. It's a very very slow process. Um, but before we do begin this video I would like to thank everybody for supporting the video I did yesterday. Um, loads of support, I got my highest ever audience retention which basically means how pe how long people watch the video for and how long they stay interested for in the video it was my highest ever the majority of people who watched the video did watch right until the very end so i'm very grateful for that it really does mean a lot it sort of gets my video more recommended uh on other people's videos you know like the sidebar if you if you watch youtube on pc uh, you'll know exactly what i mean or under the video if you watch on like mobile devices and stuff like that but i did literally just unlock the gold camera for the mp5 um, and let me tell you, it's, it isn't hard to unlock gold camos or any camo in this game. It's the fact of, like, the length, the amount of time. I, I believe it takes between 12, no, 10 and 16 hours, something like that. The average player, um, depending on how good you are, it will differ. Um, to unlock one gold weapon, just one. And that, for me, is unbelievable. You could knock out three gold guns in the matter of a couple of hours in previous games. Um, roughly, uh, depending on how good you are again. So I'm going to hop into a game of Shoe House and we'll talk a little bit more about the gold camo and the camo grind. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that right now. I'll see you guys in just a sec. Okay, we're on Kill Confirm and Kill House. Just a quick little look at the gun here. Um, it definitely looks way better on the MP5 than it does the MP7. But in terms of the camo grind and the way these look, I just don't think it's worth it whatsoever at all. I, I mean, I was even going to record me unlocking this thing, but the amount of st I was getting... Honestly, so stressed. You wouldn't believe it. I mean, the thing that got me the most stressed, wow, look at this guy, <clears throat> was the crouch kills. Um, which you might think, crouch kills, really? Come on, that's easy. Oh, and I'm getting beamed as I'm talking. But honestly, because you crouch, your movement's so slow, it's honestly made it really, really difficult. Um, honestly, I was getting so stressed. I did it all in Shoot House, so the addition of Shoot House 24 7 really does make. Going for these, I think there's a guy up top. Hopefully, he's not gonna. Oh wow. Um. Oh my god, I can't even speak. I'm trying to concentrate. Um, the addition of shootouts 24/7 makes it a lot, lot easier. Uh, because I imagine going for these things on the regular maps and the way people play the regular maps. Um, in terms of regular maps, I mean like, you know, the maps from the start of the game. Sons of like Hang Yard, Piccadilly, them kind of maps will make it literally. In fact, I know this for a fact. Ten times more hard, like more difficult. Um, for the simple reason is everybody plays so so slow. I mean, I, I've been playing Shoot House since they added it in. Like I don't play really any other playlist. Um, but yesterday, um, I mean, it was. I played it with my friend. To be fair, and it was literally the most annoying thing ever. Most of the games were lasting so, so long. Just regular TDM. Uh, it's a little bit different when you're playing other game modes. Played a couple of games of Dom and Headquarters and stuff like that. But in terms of you know actual dominate, uh, team deathmatch, you know, just chilling out. Um, that's what I sort of class TDM as. Um, you know, just sort of chilling out. Obviously, you can chill out on the other ones, but they're a bit more competitive. I've, obviously, as their objective base, um, you want to win. It, it, honestly, it was the most boringest experience of my life, and it led into a conversation about talking about, uh, you know, the game in general and Call of Duty in general. I'm gonna die. Oh my God, what? How am I still alive? This guy's gonna come through here. Hopefully, I can kill him. Oh wow! Literally, the radar is so behind, so so behind. We're getting close to a VTOL, so I might have to focus up a little bit. Um, okay, I'm gonna quickly pop that tag. Hopefully I can kill someone with a C4. Yes, there we go. We got the VTOL. Um, but it just makes made me feel this game is just not what not what we think it is. And I was really really enjoying this game. Um, as you all know, I mean, like I, I thought this was one of the one of the better games we've had in a lot of years. And I'm sure a lot of people do still think that. But for me, it wasn't it wasn't the case. I'm just gonna drop that in the middle. It wasn't the case anymore. Uh, it made me think back to Black Ops Surf at uh, 4 and how much fun that game actually was. But I'll, I'll do another video covering this anyway and talk a bit more in-depth about the conversation I did have yesterday. Um, but the camos, back to the camos, I'm going off to way off track here. Um, 
they're just too hot. They're too too much. Too, definitely too much. Um, obviously, the grind is it is a grind, and that's what you know it has been since you know they introduced dark matter and them sorts of camos. You know the completion camos. Um, they've always been a grind, but it's a, a fun a fun grind. You know, you know you enjoy it. You feel satisfied when you get a, a weapon gold. You move on to the next one. Then you finally get a category diamond or whatever it might have been in that game. And then you move on to the next one. Um, and it is fun. And then when you get to the end of it, after you've done it for like maybe a month, a couple of months, depending on how good you are. Uh, it could even be a week. Um, and depending on how much you play. Then you feel, you know, satisfied. You put the camo on. You know, you're sh stunting it in game. And you're like, yeah, I feel I feel sick. You know, you, you do. You feel you feel like you've accomplished something. And you feel good about it. And, you know, you want to show it off. It's our century, yeah. Um, but in this game, I can't see it happening. Uh, if I'm being perfectly honest, is there a guy here? Yep. Uh, oh my god, I got a grenade. What? Um, I can't see it happening for this game. I mean, I can't see a lot of people getting the getting the uh, Damascus camo. Uh, I'm gonna try my very best to actually get it, but when I get it, I don't know. Um, I can see it getting close to the game's life cycle. I don't want it to ruin the experience of the game for me because obviously, when you are doing the camo grind, it's a uh, you know you're not really thinking about anything else. You're just focused on the camos and getting it done as soon as possible. Okay guys, so I've backed out of the game, that was a pretty decent game, um, but like I was saying, um, you focus on the camos whilst you're doing them, you nothing really else you're thinking of, um, you're not using your guns you want to use, you're using the guns to get the camos, and I can see when you're getting that mindset of a grind, this is me, I don't know about anybody else, um, you just want to complete it, you know, you don't want to use anything else, you just want to get the guns you're using done, and get the camo and then go back to using the guns you want to use. You know, just do it all in one straight thing, you know, you don't like, I don't know, some people probably do it like, go for the camos and maybe they have a day off and use whatever they want. But not for me, I'll just use, whatever time I hop on, use the gun I'm doing next. Um, and I can see me starting the grind and getting into that mindset of just using guns that I don't want to use and then it's just going to take that long, it's going to take me all the way through the year. Um, and then ruin the experience for me, uh, of playing the actual game. And I can see that happening but I'm not 100% sure, I'm going to go for it and see what it's like but... It is what it is. If you guys are going for the Damascus grind as well, let me know how you guys are finding it. If you've got Damascus, let me know. I've not come across anybody in the game with Damascus. I've only seen a couple of YouTube videos on it as well. And to me, it doesn't even look that great. It looks pretty bog standard. Um, I mean, it is what it is. But I'm going to end the video here, guys. So make sure you do hit that subscribe button down below. Because I'm going to be doing a video right after this one. Uh, probably not upload this today, but tomorrow. Um, talking about the game in general and why I think it's not what it should be. Uh, it's not up to scratch. But anyway, I'll cover that in the next tomorrow's video. If you missed yesterday's video, make sure you check it out. It was an awesome video. Uh, hopefully I get the same support on this video. But if you guys do like this video, make sure you do hit that like button as well. It does mean a lot to me. Uh, and make sure you do hit that subscribe button as well. Hopefully we can grow even more this year. I really hope so. That's my aim. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Bruh, I ain't got no chill.